Hey, what's going on guys? Talk Nerds here, back for another video. Today, as you can see, it's a bit different. I'm actually using my phone to record this. I thought I'd just sit down and have a bit of a ramble uh, about some various things. Um, I'm actually in the process of moving house at the moment, so everything's a bit hectic, um, hence why I'm recording on my phone. Uh, that'll change in a few weeks. I'm actually getting my own sort of office in, in the new house. So everything will be a bit more streamlined in, in terms of video making and I'm hoping the content will be much better. Um, I've also got a few meetings coming up, some very exciting ones regarding um, access and things to various opportunities. So hopefully if they all go to plan and you guys keep supporting the videos, the content will certainly keep increasing. And that's the aim um, on this channel, to keep improving uh, like they say, strive for improvement, not perfection. Anyway, today I thought I'd sit down and have a bit of a ramble. As I said last night, I was at the under-21 game when we beat Tottenham uh, 3-1. It was a fantastic game, actually, and it just made me think about how much I love development football. Uh, I know a lot of people out there are big fans of academy football. There's lots of blogs about it and stuff, but it is really fantastic. And I know now, since they've changed it a bit with the development leagues and there's a lot more coverage towards them there's a lot more people watching the games and it's really good to open people's eyes up to how good development football is sometimes people think that reserve games don't really mean anything but it's a chance for us fans to see what's coming through the club and it makes you really proud actually to be uh in my case a norwich fan and see what kind of talent we've got i mean some of the guys last night are a, a tiny bit older than me and it's crazy to think that how much talent they've got over my sort of two years on YouTube, two and a bit years on YouTube, I've I've been able and lucky enough to, to talk, talk to some under-21 players and under-18 players and see just what their, their lifestyles are like. And it's fantastic to see. Anyway, last night, 3-1 winners. Cameron King scored two and Carlton Morris. Carlton Morris, what a player. What a fantastic player Carlton Morris is. Cameron King as well, impressing. Um, it was really good to watch him play. I mean, Carlton Morris, we've all seen from FA Youth Cup and things, but Cameron King has sort of gone under the under the spectrum a bit and has, has really impressed fans last night. But also, congratulations to Norwich City Football Club in general last night to pull 10,500 fans for an under-21 game. That is absolutely incredible. Um, free tickets, obviously. Uh, so the promotion was there. I ju they just absolutely nailed it last night. It was a fantastic evening. And it shows really good light to Norwich City um, to bring that many fans out. We set a national record and that's absolutely brilliant. Um, and it just showed me how much I love development football and, and a, like sort of lower level football. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic being in the Premier League. It was one of the best experiences um, I've had as a Norwich fan. But there was things I missed and I'm glad that we're not in the Premier League anymore. It just felt all a bit plastic at times and it's good to have the sort of raw feeling of championship back. I've watched a lot of non-league and sort of lower level football this year with various teams um, and I've just been loving uh, lower league football. So anyway, that's that little ramble. Um, I want to know what got, what videos you guys want to see on this channel. Um, I've been watching a hell of a lot of other YouTubes and been inspired by a lot of things. Um, obviously, the fan interviews are going very well over on the Cara Crowd. Um, I'm posting them on there. Uh, the match experiences are going down really well. Views haven't really dropped from the Premier League. Some videos have actually increased. So the support has been absolutely magnificent. Um, and the interaction's just been fantastic. A lot of interaction happens on my Twitter. Uh, if you're not following that, go over there uh, at Talk Norwich City and give me a follow. Um, but also, one thing I want to know. Um, if a few of you watched the under-21s game last night, is I mentioned on Twitter, as a bit of a joke, um, that Hooper was overweight. Uh, he was definitely, definitely overweight in pre-season. Nobody can, can say he wasn't. But last night, he looked very off the pace. And I just, as a joke, said he was overweight. I had a lot of backlash off that. A lot of people saying, how dare you call him fat? Which is fair enough. Uh, I was only joking around a bit. I want to know what you guys think of Hooper, his future at the club, and where things are going. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. I know it's been a bit different. Hopefully, it's all right. Leave me comments on anything you want, videos you want to see. If you like these kind of rambly videos, um, where you think Norwich are going to finish this season, everything, how, the ch how you think this channel is shaping up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.